from 2015. Facing evil is something the civilized world has to do. There is the issue of bigotry, which is unacceptable, whether it comes from Christian groups wanting to catch fire, or neo-Nazis or jihadi supporters, or the socialist left. However, the unremitting bloodthirsty jihadist is an evil that civilization can never accept and must oppose firmly and resolutely. Against such a foe, the police and the army must work together. Let them speak freely so that we know who they are. But don't promote them as having reason. Don't give them a narrative suggesting their cause has foundation. Speak reason and let slip the dogs of war. Doctors Without Borders performed the same dangerous political stunt, copying Sarah Hansen Young on her Mediterranean holiday, where she encouraged economic migrants to risk their lives. Charities such as Doctors Without Borders lose credibility from doing so. The Australian practice of turning back boats and offshore processing is much better at protecting from needless loss of life, but also prevents people from giving money to people smugglers. Peter Costello, the last competent treasurer before Joe Hockey, has called for leadership on tax issues. Costello argues that good policy will not be carried through Parliament bilaterally. Central to that fact is that the ALP has not been responsible in recent years, being too close to trade unions who are in turn corrupt. The GST was never bilaterally supported. Australia does not need to raise taxes but cut expenses. But maybe the only way to cut taxes and expenses is to change the mix. Hockey has correctly flagged one problem with the GST, is that it may not catch international business working through the internet. So maybe a GST with cut income tax is not the future, but the immediate need for the government is to cut spending, to dump those public servants that do nothing beyond absorbing paychecks. ALP are confusing the debate by saying that the poor are worse off under any changed circumstance. The poor will be much worse off if we fail to cut spending and can no longer fund welfare. Bronwyn Bishop has repaid flagged expenses that some had expressed concern about. Will opposition leader Shorten do as he demanded? Shorten refuses to answer the question, but the truth is politicians exist to do stunts and sell government and state. They need their expenses to do their jobs. The spending may appear bad, but it's not as outrageous. One would let the ALP keep their expenses. They'd only pay back the $400 billion they misplaced from government. How many workers has Bill Shorten shortchanged? His time as leader of the AWU saw Bill Shorten to be the bastard boss who changed workers to get cuts in conditions and pay. Media Watch misleads over many issues, including AGW belief. Their graphs are wrong. Their figures are wrong. They could pay their own salaries and it would not be worth broadcasting their lies. Australian film funding model doesn't work in Australia or elsewhere. The industry is captured by the left wing of politics and cannot produce shows highlighting the modern world or Australia of the past. Only a rose-coloured false reality. In Pennsylvania, one local government has given $500,000 to a movie guy for three DVDs. They must feel short-changed, when they get their DVDs, that is. Humorists call Australian surfer hitting a shark away an act of domestic violence. Humorists are funny.